pleasure. We're okay, we will. It's we will. Oh, you all will. Okay, so that's future. So that's third person. It's plural. Tama. Is that the word I'm looking for? Tama. That. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> you, you got it. it. You see, that's all you guys got to do. Like Write them down right? so you can remember them. So when you say, listen, when you say, I will. I don't know when to use Mm-hmm. It, listen, what got you it. need to write is one through six. Oh, you do got one through six on. Okay. Okay, we're recording. We're going to have a quiz right now. Okay, we're going to start with Barbara, then we're going to go to Connie, then to Robert, then Ray, Grandpa Ray. I mean. Okay, Barbara. I had... Mike? You had. Mike. She had. TK. We had. Nonka. Y'all had. Nonka. They had. Zaka. Grandpa Raymond, I will. I will. Okay, let's see. I'll find out. <laughs> Page 32, Grandpa. Thank you, Robert, by the way. You saved my life. Quite literally, I think. Page 32, Grandpa, did you find it? Yeah, it's uh, Tommy K. I will. My ball, I tell you, Tommy K. I will have eaten. Okay. Yeah. I went totally blank when he asked me. Okay, now go to it. Okay, now we're gonna start all over and I say, I will. <laughs> Grandpa. Oh, uh, Tommy K. I will. You will. Uh, Tommy K. Tony, you will. I mean, Barbara, you will. Come on. You will. You singular? Yeah. Tony K. I was trying to see if you said the other way, but you're looking at your book. <laughs> Say it the other way. You will? The way you learned. <laughs> the way I learned, Remember? I forgot. No. Bonique. 
Tanishek. Oh, yeah. That's Omaha. Omaha. Grandpa. She will. She will. Uh, that's uh, uh, Tama. She will. Only in rare cases will it use Thama for a third person singular. A rare case. That's not the case right now. Hmm. Huh. Well, let me see. Tamashe. Tamashe. No. Hmm. It's the next page, Raymond, on page 33, right in the middle. Third section. Third. Oh, it's Taka. Yeah. We yeah. will. Yeah. We will. That's a. Uh, uh, TK or Tai K. The other way, future perfect. Uh, Tate, isn't it? Tonga Tong. Tonga Tong. That's. That's their first person plural. That's right. Yeah, I you all it. will. You all will. That's uh, Tamashe. Oh, they will. I will. Tommy K. They will. They will. Oh, they. That's a. Uh, Tama. Yeah, Tama. Okay, Rob. They had. Well, I read this. Uh, they had is Vonka. She will. You will is uh, Tama. Or technically uh, Taka. Did we lose Eagle? Yep, yes, we lost Eagle. They will. He has returned. Yep, they will. Tama. I had. I had was a uh, Mike. We. Had class, I got that eight. Uh, uh, Monka, don't got to. Y'all will. Y'all will. Oh, uh, you all will is Nonka. I will. Mike? Wait, wait. Oh, oh. Nonka is oh, you I all will. had. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Uh, so we will is. Uh, that is I thought you said Monka. What'd you say? Oh, I used the uh, we got. 
not the e, we will. We will was Tonga Tong. Yeah, most commonly when you say we will, will always be Tonga Tong unless it's happening like it goes back to that think K when I like I'm like I'm going. When you say blade think K, it means I'm going. That doesn't mean I will go, it means I'm going. And so if we say on God I'm going. On God Tongaton, we will go. You see the difference in them? Yeah, I get it. You guys are pretty damn sharp, I ain't gonna lie. You guys are good. You guys are good for real. I'm just saying that. When they they still they still wanna have an advanced class. I mean I don't see with the students we have now, don't get me wrong. In that advanced class, you guys would be in it. The ones that probably wouldn't be in that class would probably just be, uh, what's it called, that just started back? Or uh, Deb might not be in the advanced class, but the rest of you would be in an advanced class. Make sense? Yeah, except we can't do it without our notes. Yeah. 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 Makes yes, sense to me. Yes, you can. Every day when you say yeah, the, the the no. no, listen, every listen, one through six is all you gotta remember. One through six. Tamike, Tanike, Taka, Tonga Tong, Tamashe. Or you can say you can even uh Tamashe and then they will Tama. So I'm gonna say it again. Tamike, Tanike, Taka, Tonga Tong, Tamashe. Tama. And then when you go to the past participle, meet K, neat K, lead K, Nonka, Amonka, Nonka, Donka for the last one, Donka. Donka. I can't see it. What do you show me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just pointing it out. That's Maybe. Donka. Yeah, I was just being silly. I, I right. think that's really cool how you did that, for real. Those six is what you have to remember, for real. You got this. And then you remember the articles. You remember how they used. Aka, Ama, K, T, Gay, Ma, the Gay, Don. Don't we Wadi. That's what you have to remember. All them things. Those are things that you should memorize every single day. Them articles, them uh, future suffixes, and them past tense suffixes. Those are something you should remember every single day. Every day. I have never been good with parts of speech. And the words like uh, well, transitive verbs stems is like really foreign. It's like I don't understand using that listen, language well, what, stresses me. Listen, well, <laughs> but you're making it you're making it hard. Who cares what it says? And there they had a linguist that was educated with a doctor degree, some type of PhD, whatever. But, what but you don't have to say that. All you have to know is it's a verb. Now we could talk about dative ver dative verbs, stative verbs. You could talk about uh, verbs. It doesn't matter. You're learning verbs. Make it that way. If you already don't yeah. understand them verbs in English, then you just need to know what the verb in Ponca. Stop making it harder. Yeah, All of you, don't make so it bad. harder. And then, and then impart, then impart the English speech. Class. You don't have to say. I'll make it easier. Okay. All the all the future I wills or I, the future will, it goes on the back end of the verb. That's all you got to remember. The, the future will will go on the back end of the really? verb. The past yeah. the past tense verb go on the back end of the verb instead of saying a suffix. Well, suffix I understand, prefix I understand, but all these infixes and all those weird things. They're so confusing to me. Like I said, transitive verb stems. 
over here we've got stuff playing adverbial roles and I kind of know what an adverb is but the, it just throws me it, it, you know adverbial prefixes and <laughs> I just uh, don't make it hard it, yeah just, just let just let me teach it I'm trying I'll guide us. You just, I'm, I'm gonna drive yeah. the car you just push yeah. it <laughs> we ran out of gas so you just push it and if we got gas I'm driving you just sit back and listen that's the easiest way to do it because we can make it complicated by using all these different words yes now but we're, right now we're not trying to make no uh, book based on what type of verb or what kind of adverb the prefix just goes on the front. The infix goes somewhere between on the inside of the verb. The the suffix is at the end. And then when you got adverbs that play a role to, as a prefix, you got they don't you got don't not you got te d k d you got all these different things. We're not on that right now. What we're on is verbs. Yeah. And all these nouns and you guys okay you got this. Let your mind, you let your mind run English all the time. Take it out. This way, I understand it this way. Good content, good point. And I teach it, do it correctly. No, I can. I teach what it means in English. That's all you got to say. Don't get all technical on it because we're not trying to get technical. I'm trying to teach you to speak punker. I'm well, you're frozen. Everybody else ain't frozen, fair. but you're frozen. You got this. You, you got oh, it. Oh, yeah. You've been talking here. I hope so. Thank you. There's a little encouragement. And let, me, and let me tell you something. And let me, and let me tell you something to all of you guys. Don't think just because I heard this stuff. I had to work hard at what I know and how to explain it. I prayed about how I could explain it better. You know, nobody taught me just how to explain it, brother. What you see what Grandpa Lewis put in that diction, that's the same way he taught me. He gave me papers and he talked me through it, made me pronounce them better, taught me to pronounce them correctly. But it ultimately you guys how bad do you want to speak punk is what it's gonna end up being if you don't want to put a lot of effort. You have put a lot of effort in here, Connie. It shows. It's you that's doubting mm -hmm. yourself. It's you. Don't doubt yourself. You got this. And Barbara, she was taught right. in a different type of way. Barbara, tell them, I, you were taught, in, you can mute yourself, Connie. Barbara, you were taught in a different kind of way. And and it shows. And I'm not saying it was in a good way. Teach you a way that you could make sense. Am I right? Yeah, I could make elementary sense. I can't hear you, Barbara. I have my mic on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, remember, I'm still in a bad spot. I'm out in the boonies. Look, it's beautiful. Uh, though. I can make really basic sentences, but I'm learning a lot more now. It's like a jigsaw puzzle where the thousand pieces are finally starting to make a picture in my brain. And a lot of your elementary basic sentences that you learn, a lot of them are just, you know, uh, greetings, you know, uh, to say, I want. A new car. That is a basic sense. I want a new car. So how would you say that? It's easy. You got this. I'm, I'm putting you on a spot, what? but you have this. Stop thinking English. I have a new car. I want a new car. I mean, I want a new car. And then we're going to change it to I have a new car. First you wanted it, now you got it. Tega. But I don't know how to say new. I'm looking up new. When you say I want a new, when you say I want a new car, you say keep in on get we come I want a new car. Keep in on get we come I want a new car. Keep in on get we come a new car. Keep in on get Yeah. No, uh, Blaine, I have, or I all am. Doing, all, all you're changing now, all you're changing now is I want for I have. Everything else is the same. Being on the Tega, we, and what do you put in there? I. It's 
is have a bleen or that's I am. Yes. No, I'll ble I bleed. Bleed is I am. All bleed means I have. Okay, so keep in on the tega a bleen. I haven't. Keep in on the tega we. We. Keep in on the tega we. A bleen. Yes. And now if you say, I got a new car, you say, keep in on the tega we. Belize. I got a new Please. car. Belize. Belize. Grandpa, you see how it is? You made three different sentences. All you did is change out the verb in the back to the I form. Comba, I'll Belize. That's all you did. You made three perfect sentences in Ponca, Barbara. I'm trying to show you guys the easiest way. I'm not trying to put you guys on the spot all the time, but what I am trying to show you is your potential. You guys got this, every one of you. And when you don't understand, we're going to go over it and over it until you get it because we can't, we can't keep going on if one person can't get it. We, we all have to be nurturing, helpful, positive, and directive in the way to go to speak properly now you could say i want i want uh a new car and get away with it with leaving we out but it still doesn't mean it's one you're just saying i want a new car now if you say i want the new Hey Barbara, I'm 32. What is it? 30, 31. It says I got it. Blize Mike. That why didn't does anyone know why he just said Blize or not Mike? What is Mike is singular first person. Hi, right. And Blize, I have no idea where I mean, does that just mean Blize, <laughs> you generally say like as a as a quick phrase to I got it. Like when we used to pass in our homework assignment by email, the teacher would say Blize, I got it. Right. Okay. Blize me. So that's basically what just uh -huh. means like I got it yesterday. I don't know. He oh, okay, it's like it's passed. Right and please, Mike is I got it, but like a while ago. That's the way I would interpret Mike that. Mike makes it pass. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That was that that cleared that up a bit a lot. Actually. A lot. Actually. Thank you very much. On, it's on, the bottom of the, on the bottom of page thirty-three in the dictionary. See, it says, please say, TK, I will get it. Me say, Tate, you will get it. Me say, Taka, he, she, or it will get it. That's one, two, three. I see it. We will get it is, oh, these say, Taite. Me say, me say, Tate, you all will get it. These they come on. They will get it. Then read that bottom right there. While the first and second person forms are significantly shorter in the general future when compared with their mm -hmm. counterparts in the future perfect paradigm. Thank you. I yeah. see that. I like you're watching it. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's a great. Big help. You have to read those. Tell you can remember them. You read these yes, examples. You're right. That way, when he gives you something, you can think, okay, let's see, this is what mm -hmm. I know. And then you could know when to use tinke, taite, taka, you know. I have to write them down, mm -hmm. me. If I, yes, I've got to write them down more than once. So, because I learn by the pen, not by hearing. 
because I didn't trust what anybody trust what anybody. <laughs> but that's where they're at. I've got, got so old. many papers like you. Right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you but, very much. Yeah, thank you, you Barbara. It. Thank you, thank you. We're going to get this. We're going to be Here tired, we go. but we're going to get it. <laughs> Oh, Mike, sorry. You guys got that. Yeah, I'm listening to you guys. Now, there's also on page 35 there, those Ponca articles. You have to remember those. Aka, Ama, Ame, Don, Vonka, Zinke, Gay, K. Probably some more on the other page. The yep. same thing that I just told you guys. I told you guys that not even 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago. Ma, ma, yep. you were right now, we, there's that we you was wondering about. When do I use we? we. <laughs> Can someone please uh, like define what an article is in English? Like he's using the word article as like an, and all English, it means, listen, um, all it means is the, T-H-E, T-H-E, that's all it means, except for we. Yeah, Anything except for we, all of them, T-H-E, and those are all those. And every one of them does, they mean a description of the type of the we're talking about. English is so obscure, you gotta, you gotta say all kind of crap to say what the are you talking about, yeah. the wire car. The car, yeah. the right. the one that's broke down, the one that's running, the brand new car, the old car, the rusty car, the mm -hmm. car that's got a new paint job. One car, a car. That's all it does. It's the that this. It's a the that's descriptive. Mm -hmm. I've told you guys this many times. Use that book. Use that book. You know, I told you verbally, but that book tells the correct meaning and some of it's left out some of I add to it because it needs to be added but you guys got this you See, got I it I needed simple terms I need it is simple I, I very simple told you a long time ago it means T H E the I know but it means the telling me and then me saying it rooted in a sentence is a lot you know I got it now Keep eating, That was that was a lot better for me. The single car. Keep eating, non -gay -tay. The cars that are in a row, plural cars. Keep eating, non -gay -gay. Cars that are all over, just scattered randomly. Keep eating, non -gay a car. The car, no other. It could only be that one. Keep eating, non -gay a ma. The cars, or it can mean the car. Or it can mean the moving car. It can mean the car that's not moving. Keep eating, non -gay -ke. The car is sitting on flats. Keep in on get long because the cars that are sitting there are flat tires that can't move, they're broke down. Keep in on get ma, it cannot be used because it's only for animate things. Keep in on get the cannot be used for only in it, animate things. Keep in on get long could be a, a OVFW bug. It's a descriptive word talking about the type of the it is. Yep. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I understand what you're saying now. What What is the difference with we? We mean so like one a or, or, right. a or a. Making sure That's all right. it is. The dictionary tells what it is, too, I believe. Yeah, yeah it does. I just read that. But we so got this, I'm telling you. I need that. You got to. <laughs> Connie, you got access to me 24 7 if you don't understand it. You got access to me in the morning, evening, nighttime. You got me. If you don't understand something and you want it one on one, all yeah. you got to do is call me, text me, or hit me up on Messenger. <laughs> that that yeah, way, you don't have to. You when you're working, man. Way. <laughs> That's all we got to do. Yeah, you got to. I used to you call you a lot. I used to call you a lot. Y'all got to yeah. remember, too, you're going to have to explain this, too, because you're going to teach somebody how to speak punk, and right. they're going to ask the same questions. So that's why we have to know these, because we're going to teach. 
Right? <laughs> That's correct. Go ahead, Sister Barbara, prayers out. Uh, we the home Wakanda, thank you for this day. Thank you for keeping us all safe with the bright sun shining today. Uh, thank you for the patience and dedication of the students in our class and for the guidance of our teachers. May you all have a good journey home if you're not home already. And I want to just say special prayers for those people who aren't here today. I miss those students when they're not here, and hopefully our confusion will clear and the fog will lift. <laughs> I wish everyone the best night. Good night, everyone. Leave the home. You guys have a good night. Leave the home, Barbara. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Mr. Raymond. Oh, awesome. Bye-bye.